Good day, beautiful people. I'm Jared the Shed Data, and like most of you, I'm in lockdown because of the COVID 19 outbreak at the moment, sweeping the world. So, with a heap of spare time and not a lot to do, I figured why not make a few videos and share a passion of mine that with the rest of you. Now, over the next few weeks, I'm going to make a few videos of strategies, tips, a few games, maybe even live stream a match or two against some mates. Um, Possibly you guys can send me a challenge and I can see what I can do if I can pull it off, I don't know. Um, we'll see how we go. But for today, the first thing I want to show you guys is how to make an LED ring light for $25 or less. For your dartboard, it's not that hard and to be honest, the results are pretty good. I'll just turn the lights out. Give you a look at what I'm talking about. Now that I put together in possibly 45 minutes to an hour and I'm about to show you how. Alright, so to begin with I went down to the local tyre shop and asked for a, an old tyre. Um, they were happy to give me one for free, free of charge. And yeah, I brought the tyre home and the first thing I had to do was uh, Cut it in half. Obviously this is the other half of what I use, so this would need to be cleaned up, back to that line. Uh, this, is the, this is the hardest part of the whole job, is you've got to get a grinder and cut through the wire and crap. So, it's probably the most pain in the ass part to be honest. Um, took me maybe half an hour to get through it with a grinder. I've only got a small grinder, so a couple of blades. But yeah, um, at the end you would... You'd, you have the half and you'd probably tidy that up back to this seam if you can see that there through through there yep so after that obviously the tire would be looking like this with its wall um this part not so hard i just got a stanley knife there's some guidelines obviously on the tires usually um again this was just a rough cut out uh you just follow one of the lines probably leave a little bit of a lip because you want to hide the globes of the leds uh, when you're standing at the Oki. So, yeah, what I did was got a Stanley knife, followed through all the way around one of the lines, and yeah, that's the result. Now, that part, you just like over there. Okay, so you're left with this your LED ring. Well, it's not an LED yet, but it will be. Okay, so, first thing I did was uh, got myself a level or straight edge whatever you want to use marked out eight spots one two three four five six seven eight now with those spots they're pretty important obviously this would have a cleaner edge when you're doing it you uh you would draw it through yourself a hole Straight through the fire. Pretty straightforward. Now, I've got this wire here. Um, it's just an old coat hanger. I cut it up. My wife doesn't know yet, but well, she'll find out eventually when she realizes some of the clothes don't hang up. And then in the, straight into the hole, just tap that down. Now, you're gonna do that for every hole. And it'll make sense soon. Uh, at the moment, you're probably thinking, why is it drilling holes and putting wire in? But well, it'll all make sense soon when I show you off the back of the other one. Right, so, yeah, so on and so forth, all the way around, you got um, eight, eight bits of wire, eight holes, pretty simple. Alright, now, I'll go to the one I already made. Okay, so, well, another important thing I did uh, when the tire was first put in, oh shit, when the tire was first put in, put down, I um, sat the tire on there, just centered it as good as I could, and you just scribe a line around there, around the other side, uh, probably on the back. Uh, yeah, so okay, so that line's pretty important because what's going to happen is on the other side, these wires 
the ones that were standing up before like this. So you've got your surround, you've got your line of where your tire is, and the wires are all standing up straight, push them straight down in line. Okay, pretty simple. Once they're down, just get a pair of pliers and yeah, just bend them over. Now that'll hold the board, uh, the tire onto the surround, no problem. Okay, that part was simple, simple enough for you now. The only part I had to buy was the LED ring light from Bunnings, which was $22, or depends what country you're in. Maybe you don't have Bunnings, but I'm sure you can get it online anywhere, really. Um, so yeah, once I pushed it all down, I fed the, the light in. Make sure you leave, obviously, the connector sticking out the top. And we're ready to put it on the board. Right, so now we have our surround with our tyre on it. Um, as you can see, I put some tyre shine on it just to clean up the tyre. Because obviously it was an old tyre that I got from the tyre shop. Now, pretty simple. Board's on the wall already. Just like any other surround. Just feed it on. Making sure your connector is about wherever your power source comes from. And Bob's your uncle. There you go, look at that. It's already on. Okay, so there you have it. It's that simple. Okay, well, I'm sure you've seen the other ring lights. I think there's one by Target. The Corona Vision one. And there's one by Wamao, I think. Um, they're great. I'm sure they work fantastic. If you want to pay for one, that's fine. But I just feel, personally, the tyre just gives it a little bit of a character towards it. Um, oh, shit, yeah, see that? The line up there, because I marked it on the wrong side. I'll flip that around later. Um, yeah, so... That's the ring light. Like I said, $22 for the LED strip. The tire was free from the tire shop and obviously I already had the surround. Now, I'll just grab a dart here. Stand back here at the Oki and yeah. All right guys, that's it. Um, as far as the LED ring light goes, that's it. Uh, not that hard to do, not that dear. Like I said, had the surround, got the tire for free from the tire shop, went down to the hardware shop and got the LED strip for 20 bucks, $22. What more can you ask for? Fantastic. Alright, thanks for watching. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button down the bottom and hopefully there'll be some more videos up soon. Whoop!